<laughs> Hello? He's so vain. He complains. He complains that he'll put it close enough. He wants to go look your eyeball to eyeball all the time. Well, I look at the screen. I look like about a pea on the side of a kitchen wall. <laughs> we have this ongoing dispute about the proper focus. You know, proper distance from, distance the, camera. from the camera. Because I'm on a fitness program and trying to lose weight, I don't want you to see all my wrinkles. <laughs> And all my bulges. Is... <laughs> oh dear. Besides, I don't think you want to look at my eyeballs. I think you just want to see that we're reading a word, right? The comfort of our home. I'm Linda. I'm Eric. Good morning. And I'm sure this will not end. <laughs> good afternoon and good, good evening. evening. God is... bless you. <clears throat> Welcome to our Reading Through the Bible in a Year Daily Bible Study. With, we're reading uh, readers, out of study. Reader's Digest. No, no, it's not. It's with our daily our bread. Our daily bread. <laughs> and it's day 62, because I just looked down there to make sure I didn't make a mistake. Okay, do you want to give them a little recap of what we read yesterday? Do you want know. a little recap of what we read yesterday? Well, the last thing was Joshua is to succeed Moses. And leading the people into Israel. And they had a head into count, the promised land. A census, and Eric was talking on the phone. And they got rid of all the people uh, over. You see, by now Moses said, Now we finally got rid of everybody who rebelled and came out of Egypt. So they started counting the 20 year olds and over again. And so they're ready almost to go in that promised land, I think. Well, we're Numbers chapter 28, 29, and 30. And we'll better get cracking because. I wouldn't doubt that's a lot of reading, and we're not going to, I think we're only going to try reading in two chapters here. You yeah, Yes. Father in heaven, thank you for giving us traveling mercies. We went up to see our grand, uh, Linda's mother on the weekend, and we 10-hour drive and come back yesterday, and it was great. Sunny, clear weather, the roads were bare. And I turned the news on tonight, and they've had a 100 car pile up on Highway 400. The visibility was virtually nil, was snow. And uh, we just thank you that you gave us those, this trip safely. Yes. And we pray, Lord, that as we read your word, you reveal yourself to us and to all that listen. May we be blessed because of it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, chapter 28 of Numbers Daily Offerings. He's specifying this many times. The Lord said to Moses, Give this command to the Israelites and say to them, See that you present to me at the appointed time the food for my offerings made by fire as an aroma pleasing to me. Um, this is the offering made by fire that you are to present to the Lord. Two lambs, a year old without defect, as a regular burnt offering each day. Prepare one lamb in the morning and the other at twilight, together with a grain offering of a tenth of an ephah of fine flour, mixed with a quarter of hen of oil from pressed olives. This is the regular burnt offering instituted at Mount Sinai as a pleasing aroma, an offering made to the Lord by fire. The accompanying, the accompanying drink offering is to be a quarter of a hen of Fermented drink with each lamb. Pour out the drink offering to the Lord at the sanctuary. Prepare the second lamb at twilight, along with the same kind of grain offering and drink offering that you prepare in the morning. This is an offering made by fire, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. Would that fermented drink be like a wine or something? I guess so. Hmm. Sabbath offering. On the Sabbath day, make an offering of two lambs a year old without defect together with its drink offering and a grain offering of two tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil. This is the burnt offering for every Sabbath, in addition to the regular burnt offering and its drink offering, monthly offerings. On the first day of every month, present to the Lord a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram, seven male lambs, a year old, all without defect. With each bull there is to be a grain offering of three tenths of an ephah, a fine flour mixed with oil. 
with the ram a grain offering of two tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil, and with each lamb a grain offering of a tenth of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil. This is for a burnt offering, a pleasing aroma, an offering made to the Lord by fire. With each bowl there is to be a drink offering of half a hin of wine, say both wine, with the ram a third of a hin, and with each lamb a quarter of a hin. This is the monthly burnt offering to be made at each new moon during the year. Besides the regular burnt offering with its drink offering, one male goat is to be presented to the Lord as a sin offering. So the daily offering, Sabbath offering, new moon offering, they must have had a lot of livestock. Passover offering, which we're going to read now. They must have had a lot of livestock. On the 14th day of the first month, the Lord's Passover is to be held. On the 15th day of this month, there is to be a festival for seven days. Eat bread made without yeast. On the first day, hold a sacred assembly and do not and do no regular work. Present to the Lord an offering made by fire, a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram and seven male lambs a year old, all without defects. With each bull, prepare a grain offering of three-tenths of a ephah of fine flour mixed with oil, with a ram two-tenths, and with each of the seven lamps one-tenth. Include one male goat as a sin offering to make atonement for you. Prepare these in addition to the regular morning bird offering. In this way, prepare the food for the offering made by fire every day for seven days as, as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. It is to be prepared in addition to the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. On the seventh day, hold a sacred assembly and do no regular work. Feast of Weeks. On the day of the first fruits, when you present to the Lord an offering of new grain during the Feast of Weeks, hold a sacred assembly and do no regular work. Present a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram, and seven male lambs, a year old, as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. With each bowl there is to be a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil. With the ram, two-tenths, and with each of the seven lambs, one-tenth, including one male goat to make atonement for you. Prepare these together with their drink offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering and its grain offering to be sure the animals are without defect. And now we're on chapter 29, Feast of the Trumpets. Like on the first day of the seventh month, hold a sacred assembly and do no regular work. It is a day for you to sound the trumpets as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. Prepare a bird offering of one young bull, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With a bull, prepare a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil. With a ram, Two tenths, and with each of the seven lamps, ten, one tenth. Include one male goat as a sin offering to make atonement for you. These are in addition to the monthly and daily grain offerings, with their grain offerings and drink offerings as specified. They are offerings made to the Lord by fire, a pleasing aroma. Day of Atonement. On the tenth day of the seventh month, hold a sacred assembly. You must deny yourselves and do no work. It's a denying yourself that you know work. <laughs> Gee. And now, present an aroma pleasing to the Lord, a burnt offering of one young bull, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bull, prepare a grain offering of ten tenths of an ephah of fine flour, mixed with oil. With the ram, two tenths, and with each of the seven lambs, one tenth, including one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the sin offering for atonement, and the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and the drink offering. Feast of Tabernacles, verse 12. On the 15th day of the seventh month, hold a sacred assembly and do no regular work. Celebrate a festival to the Lord for seven days. Present an offering made by fire as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. A burnt offering of 13 young bulls, two rams, and 14 male lambs a year old all without defect. With each of the thirteen bulls prepare a grain offering of three tenths of an ephah of flour mixed with oil, with each of the two rams two tenths, and with each of the 
fourteen lambs, one tenth, include one male goat as a sin offering in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. Well, on the second day, prepare twelve young bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, prepare their grain offering and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat <clears throat> as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and their drink offering. On the third day, prepare eleven bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, prepare the grain offering and drink offering according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. Verse 23. How are we doing for time? Oh, On the fourth day, prepare ten bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, Prepare their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular bird offerings, with its grain offerings and drink offerings. On the fifth day, prepare nine bulls, two rams and fourteen male lambs, a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, prepare their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering, with its grain offering and drink offering. It's almost like a song. Rams, lambs, and, you know, let's see what it say. Bulls, lambs, and lambs. Yeah. 29. On the sixth day, prepare eight bulls, two rams, and 14 male rams in your old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, prepare their grain offering and drink offering according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the seventh day, prepare seven bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, prepare their grain offering and drink offering according to the numbers specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering for thirty-five. It's kind of almost the same thing. I wonder why he's so specific. On the eighth day, hold an assembly and do no regular work. Present an offering made by fire as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. A burnt offering of one bull, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bull, the ram, and the lamb, prepare their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering, with its grain offering and drink offering. In addition, to what you vow and your free will offerings, prepare these for the Lord at your appointed feast. Your burnt offerings, grain offerings, drink offerings, and fellowship offerings. Moses told the Israelites all that the Lord commanded him. There we go. And we will end there for the first portion of day 62 in our reading. That's a lot to remember. Can you imagine if you had to do that now? Well, we're at 13, so we did all right. I'm surprised we could read all that in 13. Here we go. We'll see you shortly on part two.